I serve as a GIS and he was using it. But, so basically what we do is that we map resources within these cross border areas for purposes of aiding the pastoral communities and giving them information way well beforehand as part of early warning for early action. So within these cross-border areas, as uh, we have all received from the forecast, which we have received from IGPAC, is that there are some parts which will receive depressed <coughs> rainfall and there are areas which also will receive good rainfall. So how does this translate to forage conditions within the ground? The thing is that there are some areas which of course will have depressed forage uh, tonnage as compared to other areas. And this cuts across from both Ethiopia and Kenya border. And uh, it will be a good thing for the pastoralists for this upcoming rainy season to really stock up their their.